This is one of the instruments in the range of Takora air samplers used to collect PM10, PM2.5 and other air samples at high flow rate from ambient air. Air is drawn through an appropriate sample head which uh, incorporates a filter to collect particles less than the specified cut point of the sample head. What we're going to talk about today is the device, the portable device used to check the flow rate drawn by an air sampler of this kind. This is the Takora Flowcal Air, a device used to verify the flow rate drawn by an air sampler. The, the, device, the handheld device is used in conjunction with a flow cell uh, specific for a flow range drawn by the sampler under test. Control of the device is through a handheld display. When you first turn the device on, it identifies the sensor that's connected to it. The first stage is to calibrate the zero point of the sensor, then enter the name of the device under test, Fit the flow cell in place of the sample head. And start the flow test sequence on the device. Air samplers are designed to run at a fixed flow rate so it's not necessary to check the flow across the range you simply want to verify that the flow rate is drawn correctly in this case the target flow rate is 200 liters per minute so we allow a few minutes for the flow rate to stabilize on the sampler and the dis the sampler displays the current airflow rate continuously. When it's settled to the target value, we start a measurement to be recorded. Press enter and observe the value on the display and enter that into the sampler. Point 1 is now stored and to verify the stability of the flow rate over an extended period of time we may wait a short period and then record another value. The same sequence can be repeated a number of times to store uh, values to demonstrate the stability of the flow. When the test is completed, simply pressing done stores the data on the internal memory of the device. The flow data recorded by a large volume air sampler is reported at standard conditions so therefore every air sampler also incorporates a temperature sensor, ambient temperature sensor and an ambient pressure sensor. As well as verifying flow rate, the flow count is also used to validate 
the pressure and temperature sensors within an air sampler. In this case, the flow sensor has been removed and an external temperature sensor is fitted in its place. So now when the device is turned on, it recognises that there is no flow sensor fitted, but uh, there is a temperature and ambient pressure, pressure sensor incorporated. To log and compare values for absolute temperature, we go through essentially the same sequence as we did for flow measurement. Identify the device under test. and initiate a measurement sequence. Display the current ambient pressure recorded by the air sampler. And enter it into the flow cow. Once again, the measurement can be repeated several times to confirm there is no change in the value. When the measurements are complete, simply press finish. To verify the external temperature sensor on the sampler, We select the temperature display, locate the sensor from the flow cowl close to the sensor of the sampler, start a measurement, log the value and enter it. Once again, repeat the exercise to confirm that the reading is stable. And once completed, press done to finish the sequence. So having stored data on the flow gal, we now want to be able to take the data off and print the program reports. The click of the keypad to shows the number of reports which are stored and the data is transferred on a memory stick simply by inserting it, waiting for the icon to change to show that a memory stick is connected, press options and enter to export the data from the memory of the flow onto the memory stick. So to transfer the data from the memory stick onto your PC, simply insert, insert the stick in the device and navigate to the appropriate page uh, on the stick. That then shows a report indicating the device which was used and then the device which was under test and the results for the individual checks of temperature and of pressure and of flow are available to read to store and to print. So the FlowCal Air has, gives a user an opportunity to measure all the essential parameters against a calibrated standard and produce a report simply and quickly.